So while man, we all did get arrested. It was May 16th, 2002. Just before you got arrested, La, what was life like for you leading up to your arrest in a few weeks or days before? It was a bit chaotic, to be fair, because I'm knocking some young bird off. And then, but I'm trying to get back with So it was my birthday at the time. And I'm trying to get back with So she's living in Farmer. By young bird, he means stripper, not underage. Yeah, 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 yeah stripper. <laughs> so I'm trying to get back with So I move into the family house for a bit, because at the time, she's got two kids still there as well, no, three kids. Wild woman. Yeah, wild woman. So um, I go back there and we're getting on, we're kind of getting on anyway, but it comes up a lot that fucking, you know, and Sean don't really help because Sean just comes around and says, come on, we're going to a titty bar or something. <laughs> he just says it to wind the fucking up, you know what I mean? I'm getting all these messages like, <coughs> get me out of here, take me to the titty bar. Yeah, but you don't have to tell her that. Then you can well, say you're going to take me somewhere or somewhere. Our code was we playing pool, remember? That's what I used to say. You'd rub it in and tell the truth. Yeah, I know, fuck it. She's like, what am I, chop fucking liver? I'm, you're going to titty bar, I'm fucking coming with you then. She was a mad bitch, she <laughs> really was. She'd run out, running out to the car, fucking. Remember one time I'm fucking sat there and I'm talking shit on some phone to some fucking girl, like, and she comes in, she goes, do you want a butty? A butty's a sandwich, in this gauss language. I went, yeah, I'll have a cheese and ham, please. She goes, okay then. She comes in, grabs the fucking phone and just smashes it on my fucking nose. Cheese and ham sandwich, you cheeky twat. <laughs> Fuck off. Go and shag these little titty girl bitches. When I see you, I'm going to rip her tits off. <laughs> so I kept them away from one another. They met up once, though. And, uh, smacked her around. So it's pretty chaotic leading up to the arrest. Yeah. Is there any, like, signs that Cops might be about to make a move. Are you suspicious? Well, very suspicious. Because, like, I, I was always suspicious anyway. I'd go on midnight fucking walks. I'd patrol the block and everything, mate. Fucking hell. Go out this one time. I just so happened to look up. And where we lived, Tempe, it's student, like, university. But all the roads around there, same as Tucson, they're all dead dark, aren't they? They don't yeah. really have street lighting, do they? Yeah. As such. Yeah. So I'm wandering around and thinking, look, and I just walk out the fucking house. And the house I had, it had a big metal gate like that at the front. And it had like fucking, it had a lock on it. So the police would have to fucking do something to really get in. And like a big chain on it as well. So, which was pointless really, because you could have just jumped over the fucking back gate and come in the fucking back door. Because <laughs> that didn't even have a lock. <laughs> So anyway, I, I fucking I go out for a mooch and I thought to myself, oh, I'll just go to the bar around the corner there. Because it was nice to go and fucking just be normal. I went to, the, I think it was called Chili's. And I went there just to have a couple of beers and just sit back and just chill and watch the world go around. Thinking, oh, was he following me or was he not? Cause I had this long fucking thing about Mexicans following me. And all it was, it was like, I was up early in the morning walking around. And all they were actually doing was guarding us. They were in a white van. And, like, fucking, I kept on seeing this white van early in the morning. So I'll have these come, so I'll have them. And I'd follow them to different apartment places. Works out they're just guarding us, doesn't it? Bastards. So I'm scoping them out, too. I'm sat on the fucking wall, like, fucking looking around like that. I think, oh, I'll have him. And I'm thinking, where's he got a strimmer? Where's he got a lawnmower? <laughs> they didn't cotton on at first. I thought, they're fucking good, aren't they? You know what I mean? They must have mics or something as well. Like. <laughs> but, uh, so I'm sat at the bar and I'm thinking, I might have to chill out on the drugs for a bit here. Because something just didn't feel right. You know when things are going down? You know when you're supposed to go and collect money and everyone's disappearing? You don't know where the fucking hell they are. <laughs> the last scene at fucking HMP, fucking whatever. Or last scene fucking at the mums and then just disappeared. <laughs> So, like, no one was turning up with debt. No one was really turning up anywhere. Everywhere was, apart, apart from people being around, they would just sort of, like, go on fucking vacation. So we definitely thought there was something up. Really did think there was something up. But what really gave it away when I come back from the fucking bar after a couple of pints? I just looked up and went, all right, right. 
It's a guy in the telephone pole, right? Swear to fucking God, God's honest truth. He's up in the telephone pole up there. He's got like this fucking belt on. No fucking tools, what's so fucking ever. Just doing something up there. I went, you're all right, mate. Went, you're all right. So what are you doing? You got no tools. <laughs> I went, all right. Do you want to come and see it out? Uh, I walked in. And then I come out and there's a fucking, there was a few people in the house. And then I went, hey, look at this. This cunt's here. He's fucking up with telephone poles. He's got no tools. Fucking Houdini, this cunt's in he. What's he got to do with no tools? <laughs> so I said, let's go and get an axe and start pretending to chop the fucking, throw the telephone pole down. That'll <laughs> shit him up, won't it? <laughs> but he was a copper, so they'll probably got done for that in the end. <laughs> He could have took some tools up and looked like he was doing something, though. You know what I mean? Oh. They weren't exactly that fucking that <coughs> intelligent, were they? When they shit at the fan. Oh, when they shit at the fan, I shit myself, though, honest to God. Just sat there smoking crack. I took this fucking lovely morning hit. I think, oh, God, that feels good, that. And I was going to have a bacon bus. He's thought, no, fuck, I'm not eating now. I'm just going to smoke crack and do whatever drugs I've got. Because I normally, I don't like keep drugs in in the house what what quantities of drugs are we consuming at this point like i was probably doing oh god quite a bit really i was probably doing about a quarter ounce of crack a day i was probably doing about the equivalent of like a hundred dollars worth of glass a day like crystal meth you're probably really doing a couple of ease um 50 bag of bud and um Acid, we ever had acid gel tabs. I'd be fucking just eating them as do like Skittles and then all the Mexican pharmaceuticals as well. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> and then I'd have like if it'd been up for a few days, I'd have like Percocets, fucking Vicodin, fucking uh, Zanny bars, and then we'd decide to fucking make our own fucking drugs up, get ketamine, and put fucking Zanny with it, and fucking do it all fucking. They were quite good, weren't they? All of this stuff in expanded <laughs> versions. He's on Wildman's playlist, all his stories, his Mexico stories, his party stories, True Geordie clips, and all of his prison stuff. He's on Wildman's playlist, and there's a link in the description box below this video if you want to get the full backstory. There's hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of it. So just click in the description box, or if you're on your phone, that down arrow, click there, and it'll all come up in the information below the video if you want to get all of, all of that full stuff. But we're going we're gonna to keep going with all these um, full podcasts we're doing Wildman well, on the full podcast now. Yeah, as I'm well. going to come down more often, even though it takes four fucking hours. <laughs> um, but I know that I know actually where to get off now, and where to like what what <laughs> trains to go to. I'm walking around Waterloo like Paddington fucking Bear with a no. I don't get here. Excuse me, and I'm asking total foreigners. They haven't got a fucking clue. I went round three times. This guy said, "Oh, you go that way. Oh, you go that way." <laughs> Kept going back there, same fucking way. <laughs> so I'll ask the fucking British Rail guy. He knows. So the day of your rest, you've skipped the bacon sandwich. I've skipped the bacon for sandwich. Crack. And I'm, I'm smoking the last me crack. I'm getting all the little bits of drugs up I've got. This thinking. is Tempe, Arizona. Yeah, Tempe, Arizona. So, and then, all I hear, yeah, I hear the police, and they're like, fucking, come out with your hands up, and blah, 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 So I go outside and look, and I casually come in. There was me, the three kids, and there was a but fucked off prior to this <laughs> so he, he was there that night but he'd gone before we all got arrested so I look and I think oh fuck hell it is the police too but they're like fucking sort of I see DEA I see fucking a ATF I see they've all got ballys on and shit so I'm thinking is it DEA or they just trying to fucking jack me what's going on here I'm going to open the door to these cunts you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> it was a multi-agency investigation you come at the gate and I thought they're not going to get through that gate the fucking biggest pair of bolt cutters I've ever seen in my fucking life it just, the gate just fucking went like fucking straw you know what I mean clink 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 they were in <laughs> get out hands on the ground fucking down on the floor <clears throat> and one of them come over and said are you alright Peter I went yeah, why? This is a fucking mistaken identity, some shit. This is what's going on. And he's like, You'll find out. You'll find out soon enough. As long as you're all right, though. He didn't take it. There was him and two others with masks on. 
Now I don't know whether they would been they would been undercover or whether they'd been in our organisation and not just like to find out what was going on. But it it just felt funny they'd call me by my name. You know what I mean? Well, I read all the police reports, and what happened was they had approached people. <coughs> saying that they were from out of town and they wanted to buy our pills. And then the old out of town routine, we were familiar with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the court documents, they <sighs> said they could not infiltrate the organization because we were too close-knit and we always like would re re reject them if they said they were from out of town. And that's how they authorized the judge to listen to the phone calls. Remember them two guys? It must have been shady thinking about it. No, I tried to set the deal up. They wanted like thousands and thousands of pills, but we didn't know them from fucking Adam. And they were like pretty big fucking, like weightlifting guys type of guy, but like we didn't know him from Adam. But thinking about it now, they had it's like, probably them. They had like cop wrote all over them. Yeah, yeah. It's all, all in the paperwork. They did, they did try to do that multiple times. So I'm thinking, oh, fucking hell, this has come down. By this time now, fucking me crack eyes got thinking I should have had me bacon fucking bussy. <laughs> We put us in a van and then we don't go too far up. We go up to Tempe. Uh, uh, we're in Tempe, but we go a little bit further up near where the um, the bus stop was around there. And they had a big white fucking unit. They set up a unit just for our arrest, and they yeah, away from yeah. everyone else. What had actually happened was they arrested <laughs> all of us simultaneously. It's a big fucking word, isn't it? But I couldn't spell it. They come at us. They got some people on the fucking highway, just like literally driving. And now you think, oh, I'm getting followed there. You see it all the time in movies. They actually fucking was. Cody fucking Bates was on down. A, Cody Bates, um, dead now. You can Google it. Died in a Scientology rehab. He was driving on the motorway. He said he'd been seeing helicopters a lot. He thought he was in Goodfellas and all this shit. He was tripping. But as he's on the motorway, and police, bikes, motorbikers, he got completely surrounded by all these police motorbikes, his car, and they just fucking took him off. I wouldn't mind, though. but the freeway? Like, uh, probably <clears throat> about two months before all this happened, Sean got out of the game. He, he knew something was happening, because he, he was just like, basically, would they come for you? You you were fucking on your bird, weren't you? Didn't have any drugs at all. No. My bird had like said, like, you got to fucking chill. And, um, it, yeah, it had been almost a year And before. also he found, I think, because I remember talking to... Call her Yeah. Claudia. Claudia, yeah. <laughs> James is going to have to make some adjustments. <laughs> Talking to Claudia. And she was, she was like, wait, there's a ghost outside. And they obviously tried to that frighten That was my girlfriend. The, they obviously tried to frighten the girls more. So I'm like, oh, you're all right. And like, little scouse mouse. <laughs> like, oh, they've got fuck all on us. Fuck them fucking well, tits, woman. these are. Fuck them, they don't know what the fucking hell they are about. Search my house, they haven't found fuck all. Mind you, he wouldn't with this fucking fat bastard here. He does all the fucking drugs. I'm like, shut up, will you now? Where's fucking Sue in it? I said, well, good job I did, isn't it? Good job I cleaned house, you know what I mean? 